डिटरमाइन द टोटल करंट ड्रॉन फ्रॉम द सप्लाय बाय द सीरीज पैरल सर्किट शोन इन फिगर ऑल्सो कैलकुलेट पावर फैक्टर ऑफ द सर्किट हेयर इन दिस सर्किट वी हैव टू कैलकुलेट दिस टोटल करंट आई एंड पावर फैक्टर ऑफ द सर्किट सोल्यूशन लेट से दिस इज इम्पिडन्स जेड वन दिस आर एंड दिस एल इज इम्पिडन्स जेड वन एंड लेट से दिस इज आर एंड दिस सी इज इम्पिडन्स जेड टू एंड दिस आर एंड दिस एल इज इम्पिडन्स जेड थ्री नाउ हेर वी कैन सी जेड वन इज इक्वल टू आर प्लस आर प्लस जे एक्स एल नाउ हेयर इट इज द एल द वैल्यू फॉर आर इज टेन ओ होम प्लस जे द फॉर्मुला फॉर एक्स एल इज टू पाय एफ इन टू एल सो दिस विल बी टेन प्लस जे टू पाय मल्टीप्लाइड बाय द वैल्यू फॉर फ्रिक्वेंसी इज फिफ्टी हर्ट्स सो फिफ्टी मल्टीप्लाइड बाय The value for this L is zero point zero three six zero point zero six three six zero point zero six three six. So this will be ten plus J two pi multiplied by fifty multiplied by. Zero point zero six three six. So it is nineteen point nine eight. So we can write it closer to twenty directly. So twenty. So Z one is equal to this value. Then Z two is equal to. Here it is the combination of R and C. So Z two will be equal to R minus J X C. The formula for X C is the value for R is eight ohm minus J. The formula for X C is one upon two pi F C. So this will be eight minus J one upon Two pi multiplied by the value for frequency is fifty hertz. Here we can see the frequency is fifty hertz. The value for C is three nine eight microfarad. So three nine eight multiplied by ten to the power minus six. Ten to the power six because it is microfarad. So this will be eight minus J. And this will be one upon two pi multiplied by fifty multiplied by three nine eight multiplied by ten to the power minus six. The one point nine nine. So it is eight. This is the value for Z two. Then Z three. So Z three here we can see it is R plus L. That is, it is the combination of R and L. So this will be R plus J X L. Z three is equal to R plus J X L. Again, the formula for X L is two pi F L, and the value of R is six ohm. So this will be six plus J, and this will be two pi. F into L, so six plus J, two pi multiplied by the value for frequency is fifty hertz, and the value for this L is zero point zero three one nine, zero point zero three one nine. So this will be six plus J, two pi multiplied by fifty, multiplied by Zero point zero three one nine. So it is ten point zero two. So we can write ten only. 
this is the value for z3 now we have the value for z1 z2 and z3 here we can see z1 and z2 are in parallel so we can solve this z1 parallel with z2 so this will be z1 into z2 divided by z1 plus z2 the value for z1 is 10 plus j20 10 plus j20 the value for z2 is 8 minus j8 8 minus j8 divided by same z1 plus z2 so z1 is again 10 plus j20 then plus 8 minus j8 so this will be we have to take the calculator in complex mode so mode then 2 10 plus i into 20 multiplied by 8 minus i into 8 divided by 10 plus i into 20 plus 8 minus i into 8 so it is 11.28 11.28 minus 3 point minus j 3.07 so this is the value for z1 parallel with z2 now this z1 parallel with z2 is in series with z3 so we have to add this value into z3 so z3 this will be z is equal to 11 point this total this is the total impedance 11.28 minus j 3.07 then plus z3 this is the combination of z1 parallel with z2 and plus it is in series with z3 so this will be the total impedance z so this will be 11.28 minus j 3.07 then plus the value for z3 is 6 plus j10 6 plus j10 so total impedance z is equal to 11.28 then minus i into 3.07 then plus 6 then plus i into 10 so it is 17.28 17.28 plus 6.93 plus 6.93 j this is the value for total impedance z what we have to find we have to find total current drawn from the supply by the series parallel circuit shown in figure so total current i is equal to v by z the value for voltage is 230 volt so this will be 230 volt divided by impedance z so the value for impedance z is 17.28 plus 6.93 j so this will be 230 divided by 17.28 plus 6.93 into i so it is 11.46 11.46 Four six, then minus four point minus four point five nine j. We have to write this j first. 
so this will be j 4.59 now this is in rectangular form so we we have to convert this into its equivalent polar form so its equivalent polar form will be 11.46 minus i into 4.59 now we have to convert this rectangular form to polar form so shift then 2 then 3 is equal to so this will be 12.34 12.34 at an angle of minus 21 point minus 21 point 82 degree so this is the value for current i so its unit will be ampere here also it is the impedance so its unit will be ohm now from here we can say that current i is equal to this value then next we have to calculate also also calculate power factor of the circuit so the formula for power factor is power factor is equal to cos phi So here we can see the value for this phi is twenty one point eighty two. So twenty one point eighty two. It is in minus. That means it is lagging. So this will be cos twenty one point eighty two. Zero point nine two eight. Zero point nine two eight. this is the value for power factor power factor is equal to 0.928 and it is lagging so this is the final answer for current and this is the final answer for power factor